In mathematics, topology from the Greek topos, place, and logos, study is concerned with the properties of space that are preserved under continuous deformations, such as stretching, twisting, crumpling and bending, but not tearing or gluing. An n-dimensional topological space is a space not necessarily Euclidean with certain properties of connectedness and compactness. The space may be continuous like all points on a rubber sheet or discrete like the set of integers. It can be open like the set of points inside a circle or closed like the set of points inside a circle together with the points on the circle. Topology developed as a field of study out of geometry and set theory through analysis of concepts such as space, dimension, and transformation. Such ideas go back to Gottfried Leibniz, who in the 17th century envisioned the geometria situs Greek Latin for geometry of place, and analysis situs Greek Latin for picking a part of place. Leonard Euler's seven bridges of Konigsberg problem and polyhedron formula are arguably the field's first theorems. The term topology was introduced by Johann Benedict Listing in the 19th century, although it was not until the first decades of the 20th century that the idea of a topological space was developed. By the middle of the 20th century, topology had become a major branch of mathematics. History Topology, as a well-defined mathematical discipline, originates in the early part of the 20th century, but some isolated results can be traced back several centuries. Among these are certain questions in geometry investigated by Leonard Euler. His 1736 paper on the Seven Bridges of Konigsberg is regarded as one of the first practical applications of topology. On 14 November 1750, Euler wrote to a friend that he had realized the importance of the edges of a polyhedron. This led to his polyhedron formula, V minus E plus F equals 2, where V, E and F respectively indicate the number of vertices, edges and faces of the polyhedron. Some authorities regard this analysis as the first theorem, signaling the birth of topology. Further contributions were made by Augustin Louis Cauchy, Ludwig Schlafly, Johann Benedict Listing, Bernhard Riemann and Enrico Betti. Listing introduced the term, topology. In Vorstudien zur Topologie, written in his native German, in 1847, having used the word for ten years in correspondence before its first appearance in print. The English form, topology, was used in 1883 in Listing's obituary in the journal Nature to distinguish qualitative geometry from the ordinary geometry in which quantitative relations chiefly are treated. The term, topologist. In the sense of a specialist in topology was used in 1905 in the magazine Spectator, their work was corrected, consolidated and greatly extended by Henri Poincaré. In 1895, he published his groundbreaking paper on analysis situs, which introduced the concepts now known as homotopy and homology, which are now considered part of algebraic topology. Unifying the work on function spaces of Georg Cantor, Vito Volterra, Cesare Arzella, Jacques Hadamard, Giulio Ascoli and others, Maurice Frechet introduced the metric space in 1906. A metric space is now considered a special case of a general topological space, with any given topological space potentially giving rise to many distinct metric spaces. In 1914, Felix Hausdorff coined the term, topological space and gave the definition for what is now called a Hausdorff space. Currently, a topological space is a slight generalization of Hausdorff spaces, given in 1922 by Kazimierz Kuratowski. Modern topology depends strongly on the ideas of set theory, developed by Georg Cantor in the later part of the 19th century. In addition to establishing the basic ideas of set theory, Cantor considered point sets in Euclidean space as part of his study of Fourier series. For further developments, see point set topology and algebraic topology. Topic: <inaudible> Introduction. Topology can be formally defined as the study of qualitative properties of certain objects called topological spaces that are invariant under a certain kind of transformation called a continuous map, especially those properties that are invariant under a certain kind of invertible transformation called homeomorphisms. 
Topology is also used to refer to a structure imposed upon a set X, a structure that essentially characterizes the set X as a topological space by taking proper care of properties such as convergence, connectedness and continuity, upon transformation. Topological spaces show up naturally in almost every branch of mathematics. This has made topology one of the great unifying ideas of mathematics. The motivating insight behind topology is that some geometric problems depend not on the exact shape of the objects involved, but rather on the way they are put together. For example, the square and the circle have many properties in common, they are both one-dimensional objects from a topological point of view and both separate the plane into two parts, the part inside and the part outside. In one of the first papers in topology, Leonard Euler demonstrated that it was impossible to find a route through the town of Königsberg now Kaliningrad that would cross each of its seven bridges exactly once. This result did not depend on the lengths of the bridges, nor on their distance from one another, but only on connectivity properties, which bridges connect to which islands or riverbanks. This problem in introductory mathematics called seven bridges of Königsberg led to the branch of mathematics known as graph theory. Similarly, the Harry Ball theorem of algebraic topology says that one cannot comb the hair flat on a Harry Ball without creating a cowlick. This fact is immediately convincing to most people, even though they might not recognize the more formal statement of the theorem, that there is no non-vanishing continuous tangent vector field on the sphere. As with the bridges of Königsberg, the result does not depend on the shape of the sphere, it applies to any kind of smooth blob, as long as it has no holes. To deal with these problems that do not rely on the exact shape of the objects, one must be clear about just what properties these problems do rely on. From this need arises the notion of homeomorphism. The impossibility of crossing each bridge just once applies to any arrangement of bridges homeomorphic to those in Königsberg, and the Harry Ball theorem applies to any space homeomorphic to a sphere. Intuitively, two spaces are homeomorphic if one can be deformed into the other without cutting or gluing. A traditional joke is that a topologist cannot distinguish a coffee mug from a donut, since a sufficiently pliable donut could be reshaped to a coffee cup by creating a dimple and progressively enlarging it, while shrinking the hole into a handle. Homeomorphism can be considered the most basic topological equivalence. Another is homotopy equivalence. This is harder to describe without getting technical, but the essential notion is that two objects are homotopy equivalent if they both result from squishing some larger object. An introductory exercise is to classify the uppercase letters of the English alphabet according to homeomorphism and homotopy equivalence. The result depends partially on the font used. The figures use the sans-serif myriad font. Homotopy equivalence is a rougher relationship than homeomorphism. A homotopy equivalence class can contain several homeomorphism classes. The simple case of homotopy equivalence described above can be used here to show two letters are homotopy equivalent. For example, O fits inside P and the tail of the P can be squished to the whole part. Homeomorphism classes are No holes corresponding with C, G, I, J, L, M, N, S, U, V, W, and Z. No holes and three tails corresponding with E, F, T, and Y. No holes and four tails corresponding with X. One hole and no tail corresponding with D and O. One hole and one tail corresponding with P and Q. One hole and two tails corresponding with A and R. Two holes and no tail corresponding with B, and a bar with four tails corresponding with H and K. The bar on the K is almost too short to see. Homotopy classes are larger, because the tails can be squished down to a point. They are one hole, two holes, and no holes. To classify the letters correctly, we must show that two letters in the same class are equivalent and two letters in different classes are not equivalent. In the case of homeomorphism, this can be done by selecting points and showing their removal disconnects the letters differently. For example, X and Y are not homeomorphic because removing the center point of the X leaves four pieces. Whatever point in Y corresponds to this point, its removal can leave at most three pieces. The case of homotopy equivalence is harder and requires a more elaborate argument showing an algebraic invariant, such as the fundamental group, is different on the supposedly differing classes. Letter topology has practical relevance in stencil topography. For instance, braggadocio font stencils are made of one connected piece of material. <laughs> 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 
Topic: Concepts. Topic: Topologies on sets. The term topology also refers to a specific mathematical idea central to the area of mathematics called topology. Informally, a topology tells how elements of a set relate spatially to each other. The same set can have different topologies. For instance, the real line, the complex plane which is a one-dimensional complex vector space, and the Cantor set can be thought of as the same set with different topologies. Formally, let X be a set and let tau be a family of subsets of X then tau is called a topology on X if both the empty set and X are elements of tau. Any union of elements of tau is an element of tau. Any intersection of finitely many elements of tau is an element of tau. If tau is a topology on X, then the pair X, tau is called a topological space. The notation X tau may be used to denote a set X endowed with the particular topology tau. The members of tau are called open sets in X. A subset of X is said to be closed if its complement is in tau, i.e., its complement is open. A subset of X may be open, closed, both clopen set, or neither. The empty set and X itself are always both closed and open. A subset of X including an open set containing a point X is called a neighborhood of X. Topic. Continuous functions and homeomorphisms A function or map from one topological space to another is called continuous if the inverse image of any open set is open. If the function maps the real numbers to the real numbers both spaces with the standard topology, then this definition of continuous is equivalent to the definition of continuous in calculus. If a continuous function is one-to-one -one and onto, and if the inverse of the function is also continuous, then the function is called a homeomorphism and the domain of the function is said to be homeomorphic to the range. Another way of saying this is that the function has a natural extension to the topology. If two spaces are homeomorphic, they have identical topological properties, and are considered topologically the same. The cube and the sphere are homeomorphic, as are the coffee cup and the donut but the circle is not homeomorphic to the donut. Manifolds While topological spaces can be extremely varied and exotic, many areas of topology focus on the more familiar class of spaces known as manifolds. A manifold is a topological space that resembles Euclidean space near each point. More precisely, each point of an n-dimensional manifold has a neighborhood that is homeomorphic to the Euclidean space of dimension n. Lines and circles, but not figure eights, are one-dimensional manifolds. Two-dimensional manifolds are also called surfaces. Examples include the plane, the sphere, and the torus, which can all be realized without self-intersection in three dimensions, but also the Klein bottle and real projective plane, which cannot. Topics Topic. General topology General topology is the branch of topology dealing with the basic set theoretic definitions and constructions used in topology. It is the foundation of most other branches of topology, including differential topology, geometric topology, and algebraic topology. Another name for general topology is point-set topology. The fundamental concepts in point-set topology are continuity, compactness, and connectedness. Intuitively, continuous functions take nearby points to nearby points. Compact sets are those that can be covered by finitely many sets of arbitrarily small size. Connected sets are sets that cannot be divided into two pieces that are far apart. The words nearby, arbitrarily small, and far apart can all be made precise by using open sets. If we change the definition of open set, we change what continuous functions, compact sets, and connected sets are. Each choice of definition for open set is called a topology. A set with a topology is called a topological space. Metric spaces are an important class of topological spaces where distances can be assigned a number called a metric. 
Having a metric simplifies many proofs, and many of the most common topological spaces are metric spaces. Topic: <laughs> Algebraic topology. Algebraic topology is a branch of mathematics that uses tools from abstract algebra to study topological spaces. The basic goal is to find algebraic invariants that classify topological spaces up to homeomorphism, though usually most classify up to homotopy equivalents. The most important of these invariants are homotopy groups, homology, and cohomology. Although algebraic topology primarily uses algebra to study topological problems, using topology to solve algebraic problems is sometimes also possible. Algebraic topology, for example, allows for a convenient proof that any subgroup of a free group is again a free group. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Differential topology. Differential topology is the field dealing with differentiable functions on differentiable manifolds. It is closely related to differential geometry and together they make up the geometric theory of differentiable manifolds. More specifically, differential topology considers the properties and structures that require only a smooth structure on a manifold to be defined. Smooth manifolds are softer than manifolds with extra geometric structures, which can act as obstructions to certain types of equivalences and deformations that exist in differential topology. For instance, volume and Riemannian curvature are invariants that can distinguish different geometric structures on the same smooth manifold. That is, one can smoothly flatten out certain manifolds, but it might require distorting the space and affecting the curvature or volume. Topic: <laughs> Geometric topology. Geometric topology is a branch of topology that primarily focuses on low-dimensional manifolds i.e. spaces of dimensions 2, 3 and 4 and their interaction with geometry, but it also includes some higher dimensional topology. Some examples of topics in geometric topology are orientability, handle decompositions, local flatness, crumpling and the planar and higher dimensional Schoenflies theorem. In high-dimensional topology, characteristic classes are a basic invariant, and surgery theory is a key theory. Low-dimensional topology is strongly geometric, as reflected in the uniformization theorem in two dimensions. Every surface admits a constant curvature metric. Geometrically, it has one of three possible geometries: positive curvature, spherical, zero curvature, flat, negative curvature, hyperbolic, and the geometrization conjecture now theorem in three dimensions. Every three-manifold can be cut into pieces, each of which has one of eight possible geometries. Two-dimensional topology can be studied as complex geometry in one variable Riemann surfaces are complex curves by the uniformization theorem every conformal class of metrics is equivalent to a unique complex one, and four-dimensional topology can be studied from the point of view of complex geometry in two variables complex surfaces, though not every four-manifold admits a complex structure. Generalizations. Occasionally, one needs to use the tools of topology but a set of points is not available. In pointless topology one considers instead the lattice of open sets as the basic notion of the theory, while Grothendieck topologies are structures defined on arbitrary categories that allow the definition of sheaves on those categories, and with that the definition of general cohomology theories. Applications. <laughs> <laughs> Biology Knot theory, a branch of topology, is used in biology to study the effects of certain enzymes on DNA. These enzymes cut, twist, and reconnect the DNA, causing knotting with observable effects such as slower electrophoresis. Topology is also used in evolutionary biology to represent the relationship between phenotype and genotype. Phenotypic forms that appear quite different can be separated by only a few mutations depending on how genetic changes map to phenotypic changes during development. 
In neuroscience, topological quantities like the Euler characteristic and Betti number have been used to measure the complexity of patterns of activity in neural networks. Topic: <laughs> Computer science. Topological data analysis uses techniques from algebraic topology to determine the large-scale structure of a set for instance, determining if a cloud of points is spherical or toroidal. The main method used by topological data analysis is Replace a set of data points with a family of simplicial complexes, indexed by a proximity parameter. Analyze these topological complexes via algebraic topology, specifically, via the theory of persistent homology. Encode the persistent homology of a data set in the form of a parameterized version of a Betti number, which is called a barcode. Topic: <laughs> Physics. Topology is relevant to physics in areas such as condensed matter physics, quantum field theory, and physical cosmology. The topological dependence of mechanical properties in solids is of interest in disciplines of mechanical engineering and materials science. Electrical and mechanical properties depend on the arrangement and network structures of molecules and elementary units in materials. The compressive strength of crumpled topologies is studied in attempts to understand the high strength to weight of such structures that are mostly empty space. Topology is of further significance in contact mechanics where the dependence of stiffness and friction on the dimensionality of surface structures is the subject of interest with applications in multi-body physics. A topological quantum field theory or topological field theory or TQFT is a quantum field theory that computes topological invariance. Although TQFTs were invented by physicists, they are also of mathematical interest, being related to, among other things, knot theory, the theory of four manifolds in algebraic topology, and to the theory of moduli spaces in algebraic geometry. Donaldson, Jones, Witten, and Konsevich have all won Fields medals for work related to topological field theory. The topological classification of Calabi-Yau manifolds has important implications in string theory, as different manifolds can sustain different kinds of strings. In cosmology, topology can be used to describe the overall shape of the universe. This area of research is commonly known as spacetime topology. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Geography and landscape ecology. Topological methods have been used to evaluate the complexity of geomorphological and ecological functions in a landscape and can be applied on geographic maps, or field observations Papadimitrio, 2013, or even on models and programs representing such functions and their changes in time Papadimitrio, 2012. <laughs> Robotics. The possible positions of a robot can be described by a manifold called configuration space. In the area of motion planning, one finds paths between two points in configuration space. These paths represent a motion of the robot's joints and other parts into the desired pose. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Games and puzzles. Tanglement puzzles are based on topological aspects of the puzzle's shapes and components. Topic: Fiber art. In order to create a continuous join of pieces in a modular construction, it is necessary to create an unbroken path in an order which surrounds each piece and traverses each edge only once. This process is an application of the Eulerian path equals equals see also